hey what's going on man this is your boy Panchezy coming at you with another video and in today's video we're gonna be taking a quick look at um, what many of you may or be or may or may not be familiar with we're gonna take a look at the sim hub software you know what I'm saying so basically if you're looking to add next level immersion to your sim racing experience if you have a sim rig of some kind you know what I'm saying this is what you need to um, yeah to get that immersion you're looking for so with this um, you can use this to basically take what are known as bay shakers transducers you know whatever the case may be and this software takes the in-game telemetry you know what I'm saying provided to you by various games in our case we're basically focusing on Gran Turismo 7 this also works for Gran Turismo Sport what this software does it takes the in-game telemetry and converts it into data that is able to be um, translated in a variety of ways so one of the ways it uses that data you can actually have custom dashboards so you can take like different types of dashboard setups and put them on let's say an iPad a uh, phone whatever type of screen and you know uh, you know have that working on your sim ring you know what i'm saying um the main thing people use this for is to get the tactile transducers you know base shakers which applies that haptic feedback to your sim ring in my case i have a two speaker setup one in the front one in the rear so um distribute the different effects accordingly using that setup in my case currently i'm running about six different effects what i'm really going to do today i'm just going to show you how to get this set up to run gran turismo on gran turismo 7 you know what i'm saying um obviously you're going to need a pc you know um needs to be connected to the same network as your ps4 so you know everything can communicate together you're going to want to do some stuff for the pc users though um, it usually just works man like whatever the game it supports there's more games than what you're seeing on the screen this is just a few um, it just works man you turn the game on you turn the so um, software on it works but with the console you just have to do basically a one time setup and you're good to go you know what I'm saying so let's go ahead and um, get to that alright so um, we're gonna wanna hit our nice little windows start menu there and we're gonna start typing fire wall and that should bring up firewall and network protection for you you know what i'm saying you want to hit that that's going to bring up this window here i mean i have windows 10 so i'm just assuming everybody you know is on the same page with me right so we want to go down here to where it says advanced settings we want to hit that it's going to open up this window right here and in this window we're looking for we're going to be working with two um set of rules here so you have to establish two rules inbound and outbound right so we're gonna hit the inbound rules first right we want to go over here after hitting inbound rules we want to go over to where it says new rule after you hit new rule it's gonna bring up this window it's gonna ask you what type of rule would you like to create we want to hit where it says port right so after you hit port we're gonna go ahead hit next it's gonna bring you to this window here it's gonna ask you what um, rule does this apply to do we want TCP or UDP we want to select UDP in this window right now sim hub does give us the ports that we need to get the job done it's gonna be listed right here 33739 and 33740 right so we want to come back to this window here we're going to start with three three seven three nine i usually do comma space then three three seven four zero after you input the two ports you want to go ahead and hit the next button that should bring you to this screen you're going to want to of course allow the connection it's asking you what action should be taken you want to hit allow the connection if it's not already selected then you go ahead and you hit next now when does this rule apply honestly I just left that alone I didn't uncheck anything on this screen I left everything as, as is you go ahead you hit next now this is the part where you can actually name this 
whatever you want to name it i did gt7 ps5 i'm not going to hit finish because i already did this already i don't want to mess with that so i'm gonna i'm gonna when you hit finish it's gonna save and i'll show you where you're gonna see it in my case i'll go ahead and hit cancel what the hell just happened all right so i hit cancel and you should see that in the list of inbound rules it should be right here where it says gt7 ps5 after you save that all right now for the outbound rules it's going to be literally the exact same process but let's run through it quickly uh, what type of rule would you like to create we're going to hit port we want to go ahead and hit next uh, this rule applies to udp once again we input the two provided ports comma space three three seven four zero you want to hit next uh, if it says blocked you definitely want to go ahead and hit allow the connection all right and hit next once again i left everything unchecked you go ahead you hit next um you go ahead and name that gt7 ps5 as i did well whatever you want to name it but i named it the same thing you hit finished i hit cancel because i did this already and in the outbound rules for me it shows up right here gt7 ps5 and honestly that is it for the console setup you can go ahead and close this out um all right so you're back to grand it's all it's running it'll tell you it's running because i have the game running over here on this side so i'm gonna actually go ahead and Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and turn the game on. You should see a bit of um, the game in the window on the upper left corner of the screen. So I just got that up to show you, you know, proof of concept that this actually does work. So as you see while I'm driving here, right, you'll see the levels on the software over here. That's pretty much the software doing its thing. So like I said, it takes the telemetry data and converts that into vibrations through the speakers that you will have mounted on your sim ring. So for example, let's say the gear shift. So every time I shift gears, I have that set on the rear speaker. So I kind of feel like a little bump, like a slight little bump kick under my seat. Every time I freaking shift the gear, man, it's crazy. So, um, you have things like road impact so that kind of translate when you go over curbs and stuff when you go off road things like that so when you feel like wheel slip also that's something to where let's say um you're slipping on the braking or you're losing the car like the back end like when i'm spinning the wheel on the, you know on the back end i kind of feel that depending on how i have that set up here um you can go deeper into each setting and for example in this case i have wheel slip set as a high priority because when that is giving me the feedback i don't want anything else to really interrupt what that's doing because you're asking one speaker to translate multiple effects depending on how you have it set up at the same time and it can't really do that um, in the case of the gear shift, I have that as a high priority. So high priority suspends other non-priority effects while this effect is occurring. So this trumps everything else, right? So um, this is not going to really be a full, you know, settings tutorial. Um, and there's other places you can find that. I might do one for GT7, you know, going in depth. But just for now, just kind of skim through it though. Um, so you have, let me remove the gameplay. So you have the effects profile, right? Which gives you, shows you all the effects you're using. You can go into each effect individually, tune frequencies and things like that. Yeah, it's crazy. So um, when you want to like, you know, um, mix the multiple channels, like I said, I have a two channel setup, front and rear. Channel one is front, channel two is the rear. So let's say I have gear shift that's coming through channel two. 
road impacts, road vibrations, they kind of act similarly. So I have road impact coming through the front, road vibration coming through the back. Um, road texture, I have that coming through the front. Wheel slip, front end, I, I have that to come through the front speaker. Rear wheel slip, I have that coming through the rear speaker. So you can do a lot with this and depending on how many speakers you choose to use, it gives you um, better opportunity to distribute the sounds, uh, the effects a little better. You know, some people run quad speaker setups to simulate what each tire is doing and things like that. So you can get really creative with how you set this up and, you know, the effects that you choose to use. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. This is really just to show you what you need to do to get the software running with Gran Turismo 7 or even Gran Turismo Sport initially. All right, I may do a video coming back to talk about the settings a little more, but you know, like I said, if you really want a, um, a settings tutorial, there's, you know, there are other videos out there for that. You can just search for best settings in SimHub and see what you come up with. You know what I mean? We'll see. I might do another follow-up video. Who knows? But for now, this is how to get it up and running. This is your boy, Panchezy. Um, everything that you need, in terms of links and things like that, I'll leave that in the description. I'll have a link to the SimHub software down in the description. I might even put a link to the different um, to the speakers and things that I use to put on my sim rig. If you don't already, you know, have those, all right? So this is your boy Panchezy. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. We out of here. Bless up. You don't know. Peace.